there's obviously a serious side of, to Christmas and I'm going to assemble a little Christmas church for you. I've got here the four pieces of the major part of the church. They're cut out in uh, pastelage and I'm just going to put them together with a little bit of royal icing. Just pipe a little bit up one side and stick the end piece to it. Pipe up the other side and stick that to it as well. Now this little one I've actually finished and put a steeple on the side. Just by piping a little bit of icing again underneath it, bring it to your cake and just put it down into position. The Christmas candle was actually baked in a fruit juice tin. So line your tin just the same way as you would a normal um, cake that you were baking for Christmas. Bring a nice high collar up, fill it with your cake mix and bake it. It's covered the same way as we've done all the rest of the cakes, but we've dripped soft royal icing off the top to give you the candle. These are little sugar commercial flowers that you can buy in the specialist cake decorating shop and we've piped a little bit of holly around it, but it does make rather a nice cake for Christmas. I've got here a cake that was actually made in two tiffin tins, a large one and a small one. The whole thing has been covered in one big sheet of sugar paste. It's then been dappled with snow and lots of figures put on it. Now the children love this because they can have great fun doing it. They can position the figures, they can make all sorts of scenes out of it and it really is a lovely family Christmas cake. Now the last cake I'm going to show you on this uh, program is another fun Christmas cake. We'll just move the church out of the way and get my rooftop. It's been covered again with a layer of sugar paste and then the grey tiles have been cut out using a biscuit cutter. We've put a chimney on it, we've put some snow around it, we've actually gone round the edge with a holly crimper and we've piped or we've done a little bird in a nest wondering what's happening. Because what is going on is Father Christmas disappearing down the chimney and I've got some marzipan here that I have in fact coloured black and I'm just going to mould a couple of boots. Again, roll a ball to start with. Put it down on your work surface and you can get a nice big toe. Bring it up for the ankle. You can mark the heel and you pop one into place. You do the other one exactly the same way. Remember, use your, the edge of your hand to get your toe. Bring it up for the ankle. You could, of course, put some white piping around the top so that it looks as though he's got the snow or the fur on the top of his boots. Mark the heel and pop that one into place as well. And then we've got here a little sack of presents, which is again made out of sugar paste. We can have that on the roof. Put one little present in the top. And then you can have the rest of the presents falling down. And you can really go to town with these if you want. You could make little gollywogs or teddy bears or tennis rackets or all sorts of things. Just have a lot of fun doing it.